Hi, I'm Laura Ray, and welcome to my channel. I have some problem solvers for you today, some things that I use all the time that I feel are very helpful products. Some days I don't feel like a heavy foundation. I just want something that blends into my skin, looks very natural, makes my skin look healthy looking. I've talked about this foundation before. I used it for a very long time, and I haven't mentioned it recently, but I am in love with this. I really like the Hydro Boost from Neutrogena. It just stays on my skin nice. It looks like I'm not wearing foundation. It just improves the look of my skin. So if you are looking for something lightweight, also lately I've been back on my Curology and my face has been peeling quite a bit. So when I wear this, it just doesn't make the peeling stand out and keeps my face very moisturized. I've always had a problem with keeping shadows on my eyes. My eyelids, even at almost 56, are still very oily, but sometimes they're a little dry too from skincare that I'm using. So I have found the perfect eye primers. They're also my concealers. They're also my brighteners. I make them work hard. They are multitaskers. The first Maybelline Age Rewind that I use is called Neutralizer. I like this on a day that I just feel very red and I want to cover redness. I also like it on my eyes because it's almost like MAC uh, Paint Pot, the ochre shade. So I like this. It just neutralizes everything out. Sometimes I feel like my skin just looks really dull and I need to brighten my face a little bit. I just look too dark in places. And that's why I like the brightener. I enjoy going on the inner corner of my eye and outer corner of my eye with this. Sometimes just right down the nose, right down the center of the face if I feel I look really dull. These two are great multitaskers and super problem solvers. As I'm getting older, my eyelids are changing, I'm sure like all women, and I feel like powders just don't look as good as they used to. So I went in search of some eyeshadow that would give me sort of a luxe look, be inexpensive, and I'm wanting a lot, and yet make my eyes look youthful, and I found that with cream shadows. I found two cream shadows I had not tried in the last couple of weeks, and this one's from Revlon. This is their bold line, and this shade is called Cognac. It's number 810. What a beautiful brown. I've been using it also as a liner. And I find that using a cream shadow as a liner is pretty easy to do. And I think one of the hardest skills to do on the eye is liners. They're very difficult, especially as we get older, our skin moves around a lot. It's not as smooth on the lid. Now, another problem solver for me is this flat definer brush from Sigma. I really love this squared off end. And so I can just lay the product right there and smudge it or sort of stamp it on. And this is the number E15, this brush. Another shadow I had not used yet from Revlon is number 730 Praline. Just like creme brulee, that I show all the time. This is one of those that is great for the lid to make the lid stand out, the mobile lid, and just to add a little extra glam to your look. Another thing I wanted to mention, not a lot of people realize, this does come with a brush. The brush slips right into the lid. Now, I have other brushes I love so much, so I don't usually use this, but if I was traveling and didn't want to carry as many things, this definitely would come in handy. Staying indoors so much lately, I have just felt dull. Like, my skin looks so dull. So so I wanted to try a new cream blush that I'd never tried before. And I'd heard so many great things about the Milk Makeup line, that it's very hydrating, that the shades last. So I ordered one for me and for my mother for Mother's Day. And actually, we did a FaceTime talk on Mother's Day, and she had it on. And she loves it, and so do I. It stays beautifully on my skin all day. I think this is such a healthy shade. I really feel like it perks me up. Now, another thing I did the other day was I put it on my eyes. So I just put it on my eyes, put it on my cheeks, and I had such a fresh look. Actually, my husband complimented me and said how youthful I looked that day, so now I'm really in love with Milk Makeup. Now, this is a pricier product, so what I did, I just ordered the travel size. So I feel like a travel size gives me plenty, and also I can have the look that I'm looking for. Again, I have just been feeling dull. I think it's being inside so much. I went through my collection. What highlighter do I just love the most that looks natural, that's beautiful, that makes me feel sparkly and just lit up. And it's this one from Physicians 
formula. I think it's so natural. So many highlighters, I think, are great for younger people. They get that beam me up kind of look. That's not what I want. I just want something that makes my skin look healthier and more luminous. And this is such an amazing product. It goes on smoothly. It stays on all day and it just melts right into your skin. I'm just in love with it. It's my favorite cream highlighter. Now I want to share with you some of my skincare problem solvers. And again, these are not things I've used once or twice. These are things I use all the time that are consistent parts of my skincare routine. I get a lot of questions about bags under the eyes and I suffer terribly with allergies at certain points in the year. And so I can really relate to that. Mine are not from fat pockets. They're just from swelling from allergies, itchy eyes, runny nose, those kind of things. I've hit that point. This is a season right when we're transitioning from spring into summer when I really struggle with those things. What I put into action is, first of all, I get out my coffee bean oil. This has caffeine, it plumps the fine lines, and also helps when I do my Gua Sa tool. This tool is a lifesaver. I love it. I go right under the eye, right on the pocket that's swollen, and I do this in the morning time when I wake up because that's usually after a night of sleep when those pockets are so full of fluid, and so that really helps with those bags and also fine lines at the same time. Now, another thing I love to do to make my skin feel much better Better and look better is use the roller. Now this is the dupe that I've shown for the Nurse Jamie roller. I've had the Nurse Jamie roller for three or four years and this is just wonderful for rolling on that area. It feels so great. I don't know how much this lifts the skin but it definitely gets that fluid moving and just makes you feel so much better. Now I also love this for under the neck, right under here. That's another area that we all struggle with at a certain point. I'll be 56 in a month or so. I like to go under the chin and on the neck with this and also for around the eyes. I just think this is a great tool for the eye area. I am still using my neck cream to solve the problem of loose skin under the neck. I have it under the chin area right in here. And I feel I'm on my second tube. It is working for me. I have heard feedback from many of you that it's working for you. Some of you tried it before you even saw my video and said, that's what I use all the time for my neck. Don't bother spending $80, $90 on a cream. At least give this a try. This is really working for me. Now, if I don't use it for several nights, I do feel that area starting to get a little saggy baggy. And I'll go, why did I forget to put that on? And I'll get back to it. I do use it twice a day. I put it on in the morning before I apply my makeup and then in the evening before bed. For many years now, I've used a gommage to solve the problem of dull skin and dead skin, just surface skin. And this one from Mother Maid is my favorite now. I've used several over the years, but I like this because it's very good for my sensitive skin. I don't have a reaction when I use this. Some that I've used in the past, I just can't use anymore. I get a reaction from it, meaning a red rash that might take an hour or two to go away. It's got brightening vitamin C in it. It just takes that surface skin off, uh, makes my fine lines look better. I use it for that reason. As the skin builds up on your face, it makes those lines look deeper. This isn't getting rid of any wrinkles or fine lines, but by using this, it makes them look less prominent. When I did my video about multitaskers recently, one of my subscribers said, I can't believe you didn't mention the Vaseline All Over Balm. I actually did a whole video on this, 10 uses, and I will link that below in case you didn't see that video. This is an amazing product. Now, it's a jelly balm. The nice thing about this is it's a stick. That's also great in these times when we're concerned about touching our face or dipping into things with our hands not being clean enough. This is perfect. I have one I use just for my feet. I take it it, I rub it all over the bottom of my foot and then I put some socks on and it just keeps my heels from getting uh, dry and hard. My heels always are baby soft because of that. But this has so many other uses. This is so worth the money and it solves many problems. Uh, you can use it on your elbows, your arms, your hands, your cuticles, just anywhere where you have dry skin. I like my lips to look full and plump, yet I don't really like using these scrubs because they can make little micro tears in your lips. And I had a 
friend of mine who got a very bad lip problem from that. So what I use now is this little silicone scrubber. This is also good not only for the lips, but I go above the lips onto the little fine lip lines I have, and it really exfoliates them great. Now I started thinking, where else could I use this little scrubber that would be helpful? So I scrub under my eyes very gently to get off any loose uh, dry skin. Also, if my skin is peeling from my uh, products I use in the evening, then I'll go over that. I had some peeling skin on my forehead the other day and I used this, but this is a fantastic problem solver. Let's talk about hair. I have two deep treatments that I love to do on my hair. I choose one of these once a week. And this one from Shea Moisture, it's beautiful. It's made with uh, Manuka honey. Mm, the scent of it, I just absolutely love. Shea Moisture makes so many great products for the hair, and this is one of my favorites. Now, also, I have used this for a long time. It's a repair mask, and this is called Blueberry Bliss. Now, you won't like this if you don't love sweet scents like cake smell. This just has a very blueberry, sweet candy kind of smell, but it leaves my hair feeling so silky. So whether your hair is curly or straight, it's a great mask. I've been doing a lot of spring cleaning and organizing, and that has been really tough on my nails. And I do love my nail aid, the keratin treatment that I've used for a long time, but I also love this. And the reason I like it so much, this pink armor, is because when you go outside in the sun, it makes your nails look pink, almost like you have this pink French nail look going. It is awesome for strengthening your nails. I put two coats of this on and my nails are like bricks. They are not gonna break, they're not gonna split. It really makes your nails tough, yet you get a beautiful color from it. I would be remiss if I didn't mention one of my best problem solvers that is so such a great multitasker. It's from Bee Naturals, it's their Queen Bee Peeper Keeper. So many of you have ordered this and said to me how much you love it. It has several different types of oil in it, like olive oil and sunflower oil. It's just great for underneath the eyes. I just take some, even during the day, over my makeup. If my eyes look dry, I just dip into it and press right into the skin like this. And it just leaves your skin feeling so hydrated. Now, I found it works great for my lip lines. So I take some of this and just massage it right into the little fine lip lines I have. And it's really helped with that too. The winner of last week's giveaway for this Sigma blush and the brush from Flower Beauty is mentioned in the first pinned comment. Congratulations. And this week, I'm going to give away one of my all-time best problem solvers, Beauty Hacks Lip Mask. I have two of these actually I'm going to give away. So if you just leave me a comment below, I will enter you in the giveaway. I hope you have an amazing week.